And we're back! Gonna explore its tower. And that's basically all I expect to do. The Wailing Blue. More basic enemies that I'll just murder. Can I break stuff? No? Okay. There's a treasure chest with a magic field around it. Okay, I can't double jump. I don't know why I tried. Four shooter thing. Dodge it. Alright. Yeah, and um, you notice those bonuses in the lower left? Um, based on your current combo, you get a bonus to experience. Um, picking up red potion things gives you a temporary attack boost, which refreshes its duration if you pick up another. Um, blue for defense, and yellow for mana regen. And... Yeah, the bonus increases if you keep collecting them. Ow, I took six. Oh, that doesn't actually hurt that much. Okay, so higher defense bonus and the duration was refreshed. So it works just like Oath and Felgana. <laughs> That's how I figured that all out so fast. Okay, we can't jump over fences. It's an insurmountable fence. Oh, hey, my V is charged up. V mode. Yeah, it definitely doesn't double my physical damage. Empty jars. Okay, um, so I can't jump that high, and boost mode is wearing out. I guess there was more off to the right that I just didn't explore because I wanted to see what was to the left. I mean, who wouldn't want to see what was to the left? Well, everybody, because there was nothing off to the left. Ah, okay. 25 and 10 hit points restored, because there were two items in there. It was pretty determinable that there were two items. Are those going to, like, explode? I'm like... Why why are they flashing red? Are, are they, like, fire elemental? Are they going to murder me? I don't know. Alright. Enemies that were flashing red. Cerulean Flabellum. Whirlwind! Cool! See? Magic? Okay. Seven is invulnerable. Okay. Gliding, yeah. I'm pretty familiar with the glide ability of the whirlwind. Oh, and you can already charge it? No, I have to obtain an emerald just like in the other game. Alright. The reason for us to have mana is validated. I have to, like, equip it somewhere? Oh, no, it's already equipped here. Can I just use this? Okay, so your roll. Oops! That's not the jump button. Okay, mana refills pretty quickly. Just like in the other game. Oh, I have an M speed X. 1.4 modifier right now, too. No, oh, I'm out of whirlwind. Okay, this makes it cost half, though. Da -da. Weak monsters, easy puzzles, except there aren't even any puzzles yet. Of course, the biggest puzzle I've encountered in a Yus game was like, either use a single spell here, or fetch quest. 
Ah, or hit a button. Buttons are totally regarded as puzzles. Oh, wow. Okay, so the gliding in this game works a little differently than in the other one. And I think I can also just make this jump. Oh, but not this one. Probably didn't need to cast it three times there, but... Mana is free. Oh, I have 100% EXP. Is that, is that an EX? No! It's my extra gauge, isn't it? My EXP bar is that orange one. EX is an extra skill. Okay, that was a level up. So now I'm much stronger than before because I'm boost max. My boost was already max. Okay, wasn't there a passage this way? Oh, okay. That's cool. Okay, so that's as far as we c extend our jump by attacking the air. Whoa! This looks like bad news. Oh! Okay. There's a statue here. Accept Divine Blessing? Oh. I have 266 SPs. This is basically the shop. I'd assume all of these upgrades are permanent. Let's get some armor strength. Oh, hey, achievements. Done! Okay. I wonder if that's once per statue, or if it's just this- Oh, this armor is maximally upgraded. That didn't solve it. Okay, so I imagine other armor can probably be upgraded more than once, because didn't it say, like, level 1? Okay, this does look like a new room? That's at least a new enemy type. I can deal threes of damage to it. When I don't have any sort of attack boost active. Um, I feel like I was about to say, but never finished saying, that, um... Stats in this series of games seem to be almost, um... Exponential, or at least, like, quadratic in effectiveness. Like, just a few stat points will make you feel much stronger. So, like, upgrading equipment for, like, plus four defense or something is, like, really good, even when you already have, like, 80 defense. Hmm. Also, um, in the other game, you get fireball first. Whirlwind's the second skill. But here, they're like, yeah, take the movement one first. Okay, let's boost it up. Oh, max combo. Hit this before my combo wears off. Yeah, getting nearly a 2x experience. Everybody loves experience. Uh, yeah, next save point I'll probably be done. Okay, so there was a door in the bottom of the room. But, I mean, there's an enemy here. Alright, I'm gonna explore down now. Instead of messing around with all those platforms. Uh, 
I don't know if it was the right choice, but it's the one I'm using, or doing, or whatever. Okay, so there's only one currency in this game, I've just realized. Well, probably. Maybe they're just waiting until later in the game to give actual money. And now it's like, yeah, I take blessing shards. Or SP, that's what the money's called. <laughs> Instead of like Ragna or, or Ravel or? That was it. It was Ravel or and money in the other game. You look like a serious guy. Yeah, tanking hits. <sighs> and then getting fully healed because this is the first area. Oh, hey, a jump pad. That wasn't even in the other game at all. Ah, treasure. Emerald, hey, now we can charge your thing and we probably get more mana regen speed. Acquiring jewels. Oh, thanks for telling me that the skills are wind, thunder, fire. Oh, thunder, not earth. Interesting. With even a single jewel collected, the appropriate skill can now be charged. Additional jewels increase the rate of MP recovery and provide an overall increase in power. Excellent. Hey, a button. Was that in the other room, or is that just in the right part of this room? Or did the entrance lock behind me and I didn't even notice? Yeah, I have no idea if they did, like, the Zelda style, the doors have slammed shut thing. But, I mean, emeralds are cool. I like all kinds of gems. In fact... Wait, let's charge it up. Ah! That looks pretty charged. Wow, that was one cast. I am a whirlwind of doom. Uh, did it finish charging without me noticing? Yes. Bring. I could have probably kept attacking while that whirlwind was going on, in fact, instead of just standing there. Oh! Switch open this. I want to explore more in the previous room. Because that looks like, or at least it feels like a way forward. Hey, guess what? Enemies respawn. Do I just generate EX gauge? The other game, you had to, like, hit things. Yeah, I can attack while I'm whirlwinding if I charge it up. Jump, jump. Whoa! Guy! Alright. Um, whoa! I missed. Alright, I could indeed kill him before he fired fan of that. Okay, and this pathway does look like it dead ends. So that's cool. Don't have like two branching paths that actually represent viable choices for a long period of time. Yeah, this like thrusts you forward and you use it. Didn't in the other game. Rata fruit. Okay. Ah, I should be seeing what these do. Um, raises maximum HP. I'll use that now, in fact. <laughs> Alright. And I, I couldn't seem to use the other one. I definitely had one of it. I'd probably use him at the Rada tree to 
do something. Whoa. Camera changing as they go around the room. Okay, so this is what's to the left. Oh, okay. Treasure. I like treasure. Blue Moon Crest. Speak runes. I bet that was translatable, though. There's a lot of that symbol that looks kind of like a capital M. Nah. That's, that seems like reasonable letter frequencies. Oh, it's hungry. Heart. I understand that one. Oh. Magic. Pop print. Alright, level 2 axe. So I guess we get fruit to get upgrades. I imagine I'll be seeing him again, or maybe he'll hang out at the tree. Something like that. Oh, wait. Did I pass the middle doorway already? Or am I just completely lost now? Like, isn't this where I've been? Oh, wait, I got a thing. And... Oh. I wonder if this crest that I just picked up prevents forced teleports. I wonder if I can call again and it will say something about the crest, but nah, it probably just tells you one thing per part of the game. I can't imagine it would code it up where it puts all the messages ever in a queue, and then if you don't listen to them... <laughs> I guess there could be a specific event that makes it clear them out. Like, after I finish the dungeon, it won't give me this dungeons anymore, but it won't let me miss this dungeons if I'm still in this dungeon. I don't know. Or section of the dungeon, I mean, maybe like I have to defeat a boss. Okay, so that would allow me to teleport back to the first room. Oh wait, there's a... Right! I forgot about the slot up here. Alright. Uh, we'll explore this next time, because I, I think I've played enough now. So, yeah. See ya! Er, uh, I'll save on camera, because I don't know. Might as well. Now for real. See ya!